see. <laughs> We've got to teach. Come, come here, Jay. I just feel something here. Come here, Jay. Come here, my great nephew. Son, let me tell you something, son. Your victory is in Jesus. Jesus. And when the enemy comes after you this week, Jay, in your mind, sing the war cry. But you got the victory. You're strong enough, man. There are more for you than those that be against you. I speak in life. Hallelujah. Do you believe, Auntie? Amen. He believes. When they come against you, when your mind comes against you, you say, greater is he that is in me and put the war cry on him. You understand? You got it. You got it. Hallelujah. See, we, and this is the church. Let me teach you a mighty lesson here. And I loved it. You've got to listen to the message by Pastor Brian McKenzie from this morning. The only reason that we don't have a lot of the generation of 20s and 30s here is because of what the parents taught them. So, nanas and mamas, and you, you don't ask permission for your children to be in church. You, the mama, daddy, whoever, they come to the house of the Lord. If the, I promise you this, hear me. I don't speak idle words. You give them an inch, they're taking 50 miles, 55 miles. Get that. Don't give children permission to dictate the Lord's day. Don't, I'm going to say it in every camera. Don't give children permission to command direction on the Lord's day. I said, don't give children permission to command the direction of the Lord's day. I said, don't give children permission to command the direction of the Lord's day. Then we wonder why. We may not have guns like they did in Texas, but they've got gun mobs, gun attitudes. I, I know what I'm saying. And we're going to rein it in. We can change Bermuda. Parents, help us. Come on down. Stop being afraid of doing the right thing. Put your hands together, church. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know, what, what else have I to live for but to live to win the island of Bermuda to Jesus? I have no, no other desire. 